Hey, Planeteers, it's Gavin. Here are simple things you can do to save the world. Number 10. First up on our list is something that will not only help save the planet, but will make your life so much more awesome. There aren't that many things out there that really unify people from all corners of the globe. We can't agree on anything. But one thing that we can all get behind is that we hate, we loathe, we despise junk mail. Not only is junk mail just the worst, but it is a massive waste of paper. A report from the Environmental Paper Network found that every year, each American receives 41 pounds of junk mail. 2.6 million trees are cut down every year to produce junk mail, and less than half of it is ever opened. But there is good news. It is actually super easy to opt out of junk mail. If you want to put an end to those incessant credit card offers, all you have to do is go to www.optoutprescreen.com. It's free, it's fast, and it's endorsed by the Federal Trade Commission. They'll put an end to all those obnoxious credit card offers. And by the way, any offer for a credit card that comes in the mail is going to have a horrendous APR. They're really just sending them out as a way to prey on people who don't read the fine print. And for all other junk mail, you can go to www.dmachoice.org. This one costs $2 to unsubscribe to junk mail, but for 10 years. Cherry on top, they can also put you on the do not call list for telemarketers. It's worth every one of those those 200 pennies. Number nine. Next up is a bit of a bummer, but it actually makes a huge impact. If you can find a way to reduce your red meat consumption to just once a week, you'll be doing the planet a huge solid. The beef industry is the granddaddy of carbon emitters. It requires 28 times the land to produce red meat than it does to produce pork or chicken. To raise beef, it takes 11 times more water and results in five times the amount of climate warming emissions than other livestock. And if that's not bad enough, one serving of beef requires 840 gallons of fresh water to grow. Plus, Cows burp and fart methane, which is disgusting and super bad for the environment. According to the National Academy of Sciences, livestock production is one of the most pernicious industries exacerbating climate change today. If you really want to put your money where your mouth is, boom, there is no better way than cutting meat entirely out of your diet. Basically, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, you can drive around all day in a Hummer, leave all your lights on, and run your dishwasher while it's half full, and still criticize meat eaters for being wasteful. You'll get to look down on practically everyone. Which, let's be honest, that's all that really matters. Number 8. Next up on the list is something that's fun for everyone. If you're with your romantic partner and you're both feeling a little filthy, cut down on your shower time by going in together. Who said budgeting isn't sexy? Experts agree that as long as you don't get up to too much funny business in there, you'll be saving about a quarter of the water that you would have been using had the two of you showered separately. Just a word to the wise. The suds can make it an awfully slippery and precarious situation maneuvering around in there with two people. So use extreme caution if you start motorboating, you old sailor you. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell button to get notified of new videos and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number seven, it's wabbit season. Every dryer has a lint trap for all of those lint bunnies in your clothes. It's actually super important to clean that trap out after every use. A dryer with a clogged lint trap is 30% less efficient than an unobstructed dryer. Cleaning out that trap will save you time, money, and help reduce your energy demand. 
Also, if you live in an apartment and you share a dryer with your neighbors, it's just good manners. No one wants to touch your nasty lint. Number six. The ladies are gonna kill me on this one, but just hear me out. We would be doing the planet a big favor if we just turned down the thermostat like three degrees. In fact, both heating and cooling your house takes a tremendous amount of energy, more than we use for any other household appliance. According to National Geographic's Green Guide, American homes produce 6,400 pounds of carbon dioxide per year. And by just paring down your air control settings, you can reduce that number by 120 pounds. A side bonus is that your body naturally burns more calories when the temperature is lower, up to 100 calories a day when the home is below 70 degrees. So keep that temperature down and the pounds will just melt away. Number five. I've done the research. I've scoured the internet. According to the experts at CNN Money and Edmunds Research, using cruise control on your car is a great way to save gas. This is true only on the highways when the traffic is flowing. Don't try to use your cruise control in the city. When used properly over relatively flat drives, cruise control can help you to save 14% of the gas you would have burned without it, as well as all those extra tailpipe emissions that would have been spewed out of your exhaust. Number four. We're all familiar with that old saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. This expression has stuck around because it's true. So when you get to the point when you're not loving your wardrobe anymore and you feel like tossing those out of date threads to make way for some fresh gear, don't throw them out. Donate your clothes to your local charity shop. What's awesome about this move is that it's one of those truly rare win-win situations. Donating your old clothes reduces the demand for making brand new clothing for manufacturers, which takes a bunch of energy to do. And it helps those in less fortunate financial situations to save money on their clothes. Number three, working at the car wash. The car wash, yeah. Turns out that getting your car washed professionally is a great way to save water. A typical water hose at home spews about 10 gallons of water per minute, which if we do our arithmetic correctly, rate times time equals work. So 10 gallons per minute for about 10 minute car wash would be 100 gallons of water? Professional car washes only use about 16 gallons of water for each car. So as tempting as it might be to get your car washed by the high school cheerleading squad in the Denny's parking lot to help them pay for new uniforms, instead of being a creeper, go get a real car wash instead. Number two, buckle up for another great idea to brighten your day. Switch out all those old light bulbs with energy efficient ones. This will take about a half an hour tops and will light and the load on your budget. Not only do they use less energy, but they will last way longer. Experts agree that if every house in the US switched to energy saving light bulbs, it would reduce our pollution by the same amount as removing 1 million cars from the road. Number one, this next one is super simple. And it also falls into that category of saving the planet and saving you money. If you monitor the air pressure in your tires and make sure that you're rolling on the correct level, you can increase your car's gas mileage by 2%, which will add up to hundreds of dollars of savings over the lifespan of your vehicle and the reduction of hundreds of pounds of emissions into the atmosphere. Less pollution equals less climate change, and that will help to reduce the intensity of the extreme weather we've been experiencing over the last few years. It's really easy to do. Tire pressure gauges are sold at most gas stations and on Amazon for about $6. And the recommended tire pressure is written on the side of the tires and on the inside of your driver's side door. Periodically, stick that thing in your tire to make sure you're properly inflated. Also, side benefit, wait till you're driving with a girl to do it and she'll think that you know about cars and that you're handy. Even though your handiness is fake, your bonus points will be real. Last note on saving the earth. If you think this video had practical advice to help save the world, please share it with your friends and together we can make a truly positive impact on the planet. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below how you're gonna save the world. Be sure to subscribe and become a Badger buddy. 
See you next time.